Hello, my friends. Um, oh, I forgot to change my dress. I'll have to be very careful. <laughs> um, today, I got all my split cups in, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've never used one of these before, so this is my first time, and um, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. It's quite small, actually, and I probably have way too much paint for it but I'm good with that. I have a specific design that I want to go for and so um, it's going to go off the sides. I covered my canvas, canvas with black and um, my paints are just mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Sorry, I had to change my clothes because I can't afford to keep ruining dresses. Anyway, I make these dresses, so it's a little bit of a pain. Anyway, I tried to layer my outer. It's a um, five compartment. I tried to do the outer ones the same and the inner ones. They're different, but I tried to do some consistency. I have no idea how this is going to turn out or if it's going to turn out, but we're going to give it a try. I'm hoping my paints aren't too thick. But anyway, here we go. Let's just have some fun. afraid it might be a little too red heavy. Oh yeah. Well, I wasted about a quarter of a cup, so that's the pattern I wanted. I wish I would have made it a little thicker here, but I wanted that twist. That's what I was going for, and I'm excited that I got it. It's a little bit purple-red heavy. It's I should have, well, I didn't have a whole lot of blue. I should have made more up, but that's fine. This is my first one. So, I am making a mess. So, let me move my carousel. Usually, I have little pegs on the bottom, but I don't have those, so I have to make do with this. And I'm really not comfortable with, with that, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna, just gonna pour, I want this to go off the edge. And I'm gonna pour this off just really as slowly as I can. Because I, I need for it to pour off. It's a lot of paint. But I don't want to disrupt this pattern. I 
the center isn't quite as tight as I wanted to get it, but my canvas is very small. I was kind of afraid to use one of my 20 by 20s. First of all, it doesn't fit on the carousel nicely. And secondly, um, I'm very limited in those canvases, so this is turning out just gorgeous though. I'm so loving it. I have plans for this piece. And I want to embellish this one. Just some simple embellishments, but I'm having a really hard time holding on to this thing. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty darn good for my very first time. I got exactly the pattern I wanted, and I am so excited about that. I'm going to wash my hands and torch this, then I'll bring you in. All right. I'll show you it at this view. Oh, I love it so much. It's not perfect. Um, yet. <laughs> I will perfect this, because I love it. I just absolutely love this design. And, like I said, I'm going to embellish it. But, I wanted this, let's see, this part here, to go over the edge so I had room so that I could tighten this up. That's the only thing, besides the really heavy red-purple, um, I will definitely cut back on that the next time. I like it, but I don't love it. I really wanted the light blue, um, to show through more but I just think it's beautiful look at the center how detailed that is and I even got little cells which I didn't want <laughs> but um, I'm fine with it and I just I didn't use any of the satin enamel I didn't use any of the white Anyway, I am going to cut this video short because once this is dried, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put accents in this. And so I will see you all later. Hi guys. Okay, so I started my embellishment on this piece, as you can see. And um, I went and I just accented the different... Um, little blue lines just to make this piece pop a little bit more <coughs> excuse me and now what I'm doing is just going along the edge and adding more of this light blue um, I'm not even sure what it's called anyway and then I have a little bit of a darker blue let me see there we go <laughs> so I'm going to do this one first. I'm not showing the whole thing. I didn't show this because it's just really time consuming. And the truth of the matter is, I don't know how to do the fast forward on editing. <laughs> so, I'm like, well, I'm not going to bore the people to death. So, anyway. It, I'm not going to be real long at doing this. But... I did kind of want to show you how I was finishing the piece. I think it turned out really cool. I would like more symmetry, but it's really hard to do with a with a pour. Though I am going to try and get um, get it to be a little closer together. It, originally, I thought I, I really wanted that space in there, but I think that I would prefer it closed and just have it, you know, wrapped. So, that's going to be my next try. Um, I 
I'll just do a few minutes of this because you can see what I'm doing. And I am following some of the very light blue. I see little bits of blue and I'm just pulling it out a little bit more. so much better. Just these little accents. Okay, what do you think? This piece is so shiny. And I don't know there if you can see just the depth of color in it. And it actually has like a texture. It, lo it looks very real. Can you see the texture in it? it it's, it's just so cool. I'm really, really happy with this piece. Oops. Well, let's go ahead and do that right. So you can see the texture. Isn't that cool? And then the little accents that I did. They're just like little pearls. Little pearls and swirls. Nothing real fancy. And then here is the piece. My camera isn't sitting quite straight. But anyway, there you have it. That is the finished piece. And I don't know if you can see the transition of purples. This red goes into this purple patch. And yeah, you can see you can see it. I just think this piece turned out so beautiful. And I guess it's kind of upside down to you. There, that that's the way I would hang it. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like that. Okay, well, please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think. And I'm going to be doing more of these, and I will be adding um, more embellishment 
as I go along. So you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.